you want some more controversial shit, uh, I think I can bring you some more controversial shit. Dopamine, dopamine, dopamine. This is gonna be a bit of a rant. Harambe the gorilla. I wasn't really gonna talk about this because uh, in the animal, the, the world of animals who die, this is just one gorilla, it's pretty insignificant. Just one death. Uh, there's millions and millions of animals that die all the time. What makes this one so special? So I wasn't really going to talk about it. Not even with family or friends. Uh, I wasn't even thinking about putting it on this channel. But here's the thing. So news article after news article just kept coming across my eyesight. Kept grabbing my attention. One was, you know, just on Yahoo News. Another one was... You know, I heard about it from somebody. Then I saw a Facebook post, and at the time I was commenting on the Facebook post, one of my uh, friends texted me about it and said, you know, hey, sorry to hear about Harambe. And I was just thinking to myself, like, what the hell, you know? Like, how come this is blowing up so much? Here's my issue. Every single person, including my wife, who's talked to me about the dis this issue, is wrong. So, if you haven't heard about this, uh, let me give you a quick rundown. Fucking boy went to the zoo. Fucking boy fell in the goddamn hole with the gorilla. Gorilla grab boy. Gra pulled him around. People were praying and, and doing all sorts of other shit. And, uh, then they shot the gorilla dead. Okay, it's a pretty short version. That's what happened. I think it's in Cincinnati. So the real issue here is there's a dead gorilla. And everybody wants to point fingers. So here's the main points I've been seeing. Parents at fault. Zoos at fault. Uh, you know, that's pretty much all I've been hearing. And there's pretty much two, two sides. People who are standing with the zoo and accusing the parents of being bad parents. And then people standing with the parents and saying the zoo, you know, the people with the money have the fucking, you know, their shit wasn't safe enough. Here's my thing. It's not the kid's fault. It's not the parent's fault. It's not the zoo's fault. It's our fucking fault. Our fucking fault is humanity as human beings who who seek to dominate the world with our fucking intelligence look man there's a dead gorilla and there was possibly a dead boy of course he lived but that was a possibility the people who want to blame the parents get the fuck out of here with that bullshit man I, I, even when it comes to the parent blaming, I've seen the race card pulled. Well, if they were white, then there wouldn't be nobody talking about it. I also saw Fox News commenting on the kid's father and his criminal record. The dad wasn't even there. The fuck is going on, man? What's going on in our culture where we're just so fucking torn instead of bright enough to see the actual issue? Other person, you know, other people, zoo's fault. For what? They have barriers. They they want us to be able to see the animals. That's what we pay them for, right? So we can see the fucking animals. So that's what they give us. The ability to get close to the animals. And with that, shit happens. Right? Now people want to blame the parents, oh, they weren't watching the fucking kid well enough. You know what, no matter how good of a fucking parent you are, no matter if you're the best parent, my dad was a pretty damn good parent, in my opinion, as far as when it came to watching and raising. And I still slipped away, man, that's what kids do. It's called human or parental error. Statistically, there is going to be a moment where your focus is not on the kid. 
just for a split second and statistically speaking in one of those moments where you're not focused your kid is going to dip the fuck out on you and that's as simple as that I remember when I was little I was at the grocery store and my dad was distracted for just a moment and I, I ended up being lost in a goddamn store one of those supermarket things for fucking like two hours you know what I mean a kidnapper could have got me anything you think they would have holy fuck look how windy it is Woo! anyways now think about a zoo man you know it's not every day I as an adult whether I have children or not I as an adult it's not every day that I see uh, a fucking a gorilla or a tiger a lion some shit you know what I mean so anyways how distracted would you be as an adult I mean it may grab your concentration just a little bit more because you've never seen that shit like on a regular basis so you're there and for that five seconds you're like holy shit did you see that shit look at that gorilla and you look down your kid's gone is that really your fault no, that's our fault for creating stupid distractions for ourselves so we can win Darwin Awards. If you don't know what a Darwin Award is, look it up. So it's not the parents' fault, it, you know? It's not the zoo's fault. Gone over it. Accidents happen when you have systems like this. A system where we pull fucking animals out of their natural habitat and put them in little fucking prisons so they can be stared at by other animals those animals being us this is a, a sick society we live in where we take an animal out of its natural habitat replicate its habitat but much smaller and much tinier taking a, something like a gorilla who's a highly intelligent social animal taking him away from his you know fucking natural habitat away from his social group and putting him in a fucking cage with one other gorilla. Could you imagine if you were put on a, just a small island with one other person? You wouldn't talk to that person after a while. You fucking hate that person. We're social creatures. We need more interaction than just with one other person. Look, so then what's going to happen? You're pretty much in solitary confinement at that fucking stage. And you're going fucking insane. You develop mental issues and shit like that. What, what's to make us think... That something so closely related to us as a gorilla is is so different. So he has mental issues. Look, a boy fell in. Fucking great. Look what I get to do. I get revenge. And we don't even know if he was going to kill the kid. Who knows? Maybe he was just pissed off at us and say, Hey, look, you know, get me the fuck out of here. So you may be wondering, like, how is it our fault? Why is this, this vegan not choosing a side that we've heard well because for me it just makes sense right as a vegan as somebody who thinks animals have some sort of rights it just makes sense humans are fucked up and we take shit that is not ours that does not belong to us and we pretend like it does and we pretend like we can control it and then when shit happens we all throw our arms up, fucking looking around at each other, like, what the fuck just happened? No, it's your fault. No, it's your fault. No, it's your fault. Now, I'll tell you whose fault it is. It's humans' fault. All of our fault. If you support zoos, this is your fault. If you support the exploitation of animals for profit, you've helped perpetuate a system essentially that is the reason for this that causes this when you put two variables together such as zoos and people caged imprisoned animals with mental issues and fucking little ass kids little ass kids who fucking uh, are curious and shit when you put those two things together, uh, you know, statistics, probability, just come into play. And what the fuck do you expect 
for real. What do you expect? So, it's just absolutely crazy to me how people are getting so pissed off over one dead gorilla. Now, I'm pissed off, but I have a reason to be. And it's not just that one gorilla. It's that fucking billions of animals that are slaughtered and killed for our, our fucking animal exploits on a daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, you know, basis. If you purchase a ticket for a zoo, you are saying, essentially, I vote with my dollar that I think this thing is a good idea. I don't know why we don't see animals in their natural habitats at the zoo. There's a reason millions and millions of people aren't running on the plains of the Serengeti, you know, to see lions and shit. Because you get your ass fucked up. That's exactly what will happen. You will get your shit fucked up. So what do we do? We want to pretend like we see them in their natural habitat while placing them into tiny fucking minuscule replicas where we're safe. Or where we think we're safe. But when you introduce people and animals at that close of proximity without it being some sort of TV or virtual reality or some shit, you essentially... Hard. That wasn't a stop, asshole. You are a part of the problem if you are putting your money into shit like this. It's your fault that the fucking gorilla died. And if you're mad that the gorilla died, then stop supporting a system that enslaves animals and brings them close to people. It's as simple as that, people. And if you don't like my opinion, well, then fucking A, whatever. Do whatever you want with that. But nobody's talking about that in the fucking media. Nobody's saying, hey, maybe we should do like Costa Rica did. Shut down all zoos. You know? Nobody's saying that. They're all just pointing the finger at each other. It's like when you should really be looking at yourself in the mirror and be like, where do my values lie? Am I as intelligent as I pretend to be? Alright, well this train is really fucking loud and I can't even hear myself talk. So, I'm just gonna peace the fuck out on this. Uh, I don't expect many of you to like it, but if you do like it, give it a thumbs up. If you got a comment, fucking put it in the comment box. And uh, if you want some more controversial shit, uh, I think I can bring you some more controversial shit. Just let me know. Alright, people. Fucking rest in peace. Harambe. And, uh, you know what? Fuck everybody that donates to zoos. Fuck zoos.